Today I'm going to show you 15 advanced tips for your Animal Crossing New Horizons island. So let's get started. What's up guys, it's me Drew, and today's video is about 15 tips for your Animal Crossing New Horizons island, and you might have seen a video by Eurogamer about a similar topic, but don't worry, I've seen that video too, and so I made sure that all 15 of these tips are different from the ones that they had in their video. So let's get started with tip number one. Flick the right stick to skip to the nook miles that you haven't redeemed yet. So this is really helpful because once you get the notification, you're probably gonna have to scroll down really far to get it. But if you know this tip, you can just use the right stick and move it and it's gonna send you all the way to that nook miles challenge. So you're gonna be able to redeem it way faster than you could before and you're not gonna waste time just scrolling down. I'm kind of surprised that not many people knew about this. So I think you should tell your friends, but it is super helpful. Number two, find wisp or Gulliver. So what you should do is every day search your whole island to see if Wisp or Gulliver are there. If they are there, then what you can do for Gulliver is help him find all of his communicator parts after you woke him up, or for Wisp you can help him find his spirit which has been split into five pieces and is lost around the island. Both of these things aren't super hard to find and you'll only be walking around for a few minutes before you find them. Number 3. Shake trees for sticks. So at the start of the game, Tom Nook tells you to get sticks and he tells you that they're on the ground. What he doesn't tell you is that you can find them by shaking trees too. So this will get you a lot more sticks and you can easily craft a lot of tools with all the sticks you'll be getting. And all you have to do is shake trees. But be careful because from shaking a tree that many times, there's a pretty high chance that a wasp's nest will fall out. So if you're doing this, you might want to shake it with a net first so you can easily catch them. So what you should do is every single day shake all the trees on your island if you're looking to get a collection of sticks so you can always make tools really easily. Number four look for the Emperor Butterfly Island. So this one is really helpful because a lot of people know about the Tarantula Island, but not that many people know about the Emperor Butterfly Island. So if you find this island, it's gonna look like a little pond in the middle surrounded with flowers and there's going to be tons of emperor butterflies which are bright blue and you can just catch as many as you can and what i'd recommend doing is taking everything out of your inventory except for your net and just filling it up with emperor butterflies when you get home either donate one to blathers or just sell all of them and that's going to get you easily over a hundred thousand bells number five craft a slingshot to shoot presents so this one is pretty good because if you've ever seen those floating presents above your town and didn't know what they are, you pretty much just have to craft a slingshot and go a little bit behind them and then you can hit them. Uh, I find the aim is pretty tough, but you can get better at it with practice. And what you get from these presents can range from furniture to bells. So it's really important that you get these so you can get items that you probably wouldn't have got otherwise. So that's why right now you should go craft a slingshot. Number six, fish during the rain. So this is pretty good because what happens is it changes which fish you can get. If you're looking for a rare fish, such as the Koela Sand, something like that, then you'll only be able to find that while it's raining. So you definitely wanna go fishing when it's raining to try to get as many different fish as possible if you're looking to complete the museum. Number seven, nook miles are just as important as bells. So the reason why I say that is because you can redeem them for nook miles tickets and you can use those to go to different islands and there's so many different ways to earn tons and tons of bells. As I mentioned in tip number four, you can find the Emperor Butterfly Island, you can also find the Tarantula Island, or you could clear it a regular island. There's a lot of different ways that you can get tons and tons of bells just from going to another island so that's why I really think you should focus on getting nook miles so you can go to as many islands as you possibly can number eight this one is really really helpful and I was actually pretty surprised when I learned it so what you can do is after you've dug a hole or if there's just a hole in the ground you can actually fill it in by pressing Y and that means your character is gonna kick dirt over it instead of using your shovel to fill it in which will take some of the durability which is obviously a downside this is really good because you won't need to be crafting as many shovels as you normally would because you'll just be able to press Y and then fill it in just as fast with no downside like losing durability. Number nine, create a new account on your Switch so you can play with your friend. One thing that you probably know is that you can play multiplayer in Animal Crossing New Horizons, but you might not know how. So what you have to do is create a new account on your Switch. So you have to have at least two accounts. Then the app will appear to allow you to use multiplayer because without that second player, you will have no way of inviting people to your island if you're just playing locally. I definitely recommend creating another account if you have your Switch personally, just in case you have a friend over or something like that and you wanna play multiplayer with them. 
Number 10, look out for CJ and Flick. These guys will buy bugs and fish off you for 1.5 times what you'd normally sell them for. So CJ buys fish and Flick buys bugs. So that's definitely an upside if you're stockpiling on maybe tarantulas. Instead of getting 8,000, you'll get 12,000 if Flick comes to your island. Another thing that they can do is host tournaments and things like that. For Flick, if you do well in his tournament, you can win items that you can only get from doing that tournament. So definitely do that if you have the chance. Number 11, place flowers in a checkerboard pattern. What that's gonna do is allow you to breed flowers. So I'll put a link in the description to a website that will show you all the different flowers that you can breed together to get the colors that you're looking for because some types of flowers will help with spawning rare bugs that you can sell for a lot of money. So that's definitely helpful if you just wanna go ahead and crossbreed those flowers. So this will take a bit of time, but it's definitely worth it if you end up getting those flowers that spawn rare bugs. Number 12, put your tools away using the bottom arrow. So this one I didn't actually know for a while, but it is really helpful. So if you're doing something where you don't need your tool, just press the bottom arrow on the deep and that will make you put it away. You can also use the side arrows to cycle through your tools, which is also super helpful. If you put the two that you need now right next to each other, you can just use the side arrows to cycle between them. Number 13, use QR codes to get epic clothes like this. All you have to do is download the Nintendo Switch Online app to your phone. Yes, it actually has a use now. You pretty much just have to scan a QR code off your computer and then make sure your Switch is connected to the internet because when you go on your Switch, you're gonna go into the custom designs app and then you press plus and then you press A to download the design. And that should be the same one that you downloaded using your QR code. And then you can do whatever you want with it, like making a Minecraft room that Austin John Plays did, which was really, really cool, night. Or you could make a big Chungus floor tile. Number 14, you can fish in the ocean for rare fish. So most of the rarer fish will spawn in the ocean. It's a better idea to look there for fish than in rivers. If you are going out fishing, definitely use the ocean and maybe use the dock that you can find to catch a lot of fish from the ocean because they are more helpful, but you might get annoyed by catching sea bass over and over and over again. But you also have a better chance of getting rare fish. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Plant fruit to grow trees. If you got your hands on some foreign fruit, maybe from visiting another player's island or from using your Nook Miles tickets, you don't want to go ahead and sell that right away. What you want to do is use your shovel to bury a hole and then you can plant the fruit and then eventually that's going to grow into a tree. Then that's going to take a bit longer, like almost a week, I think four to six days to grow. Once that grows, you're going to have a reliable source of that foreign fruit, which you'll be able to sell for double the rate that you'd normally sell fruit for. So that was 15 tips, but don't leave yet. I still have a bonus tip, but the bonus tip is to craft an entirely new set of tools before you use one of your Nook Miles tickets. This is gonna help you out quite a bit because by the time you get back, you might've created a tarantula island and filled your entire inventory with tarantulas or maybe even emperor butterflies. So you're not gonna want to get home and have no tools and have to go craft all your tools up again, starting from the bottom and working your way up again to what tools you had before. So while you can easily get wood with your ax now, if you go to an island and leave your ax there, it's gonna be harder to get wood. So I recommend crafting a whole new set of tools before you leave, so when you get back, you'll already have your tools set out. Click right there to see a video on if you can beat Animal Crossing New Horizons, and click right there to subscribe to my channel. I post Animal Crossing New Horizons tutorials on Tuesdays and Fridays, so you won't wanna miss an upload. Bye.